Hello and welcome to this new video from Clarity Media in which we're going to look at how to solve a cryptogram puzzle. A cryptogram puzzle is a type of code puzzle whereby each letter of the alphabet, which may or may not appear in the code, has been switched with another letter. So, for instance, V in the code could represent the letter T, R or indeed any letter from A to Z. But the key rule is that every time V occurs, it will represent the same letter in the alphabet. And so these pink boxes contain the coded message and the green boxes will contain, in this case, a quote by William Shakespeare. Often cryptogram puzzles tell you the source of the text, but not always. Um, so how do you go about solving a cryptogram puzzle. There's various different ways, um, depending on the length of the text. Some people like to go through and count how many times each letter occurs, um, knowing that there are websites with frequency distributions of the letters in English and telling you which letters occur the most often. As you'd expect, probably E is the most common letter, T is the second most, and then A, and you can find lists that show you the rest. But if you can get the first few, letters in place, then that can really help you whittle down the options. Um, now, as with most puzzles, perhaps all puzzles, it's harder at the start because you've got nothing to go on. Um, so you need to try and find an in. And often people look at the two or three letter words um, because they obviously have very limited options, um, particularly the two letter words. Um, or if there's a single letter, of course, you know, it's I or A. Um, so with this puzzle we're not going to go through and count the instances of each letter. What we'll do is we'll look at the three letter words because it's extremely common for one of those words to be the or and. So if you just try putting the in here then you'll see that the software will automatically fill in each instance of those letters and by the way if you'd like to have a go at this puzzle before watching the rest of this video then pause it here and follow the link that we'll post in the YouTube description. So we'll see if we put the here then the puzzle breaks because you have E something HT there which just doesn't exist. So let's take that out. Let's see if this was the Okay, that looks a lot more plausible. This could be with. With the looks very, very plausible. So a lot of it is just seeing what looks plausible together, um, trying options and then seeing what comes in the grid elsewhere. So for instance, here we have an it. So that looks very plausible. Um, that look must be which just one C so not very helpful there um, this could be in or maybe is so let's try it in looks possible Just seeing if that's broken any words. Not obviously, though look here, W H E, that looks like the L, surely must be the N. So let's take the N out there. Okay, now that looks that looks good now. N something T. Let's try well look, okay, so we have an H here and an H here. So can't be nut, look, because that will give us T-I-U-N. Um, if it was an A, then, I mean, it's possible, but it looks almost certainly like it's T-I-O-N. And in the tar there, although tar is a word, that's not going to make sense in a, in a phrase, is it? So that must be an O, and this is two. Okay. So something, so that must be is now, I think that's the only option left.
where we've used n, um, it could be f, okay, f, e, something, o, something, e, f, no, t, e, f, s, no, that's not possible, so it must be or, I think, is the other option there. Okay, that looks plausible. Um, this looks very much like alters, that's the word that comes to mind, let's, let's try. Oh, okay, and that feeds in here. L O something E. Um, so love. And you can see in this puzzle that these four letters repeat there. So one tip with many cryptograms is to sort of see if, if words repeat or if you have a particular pair of letters that appear um, in the center of a word, for instance, or um, several times across the puzzle. Um, there are certain letters in the alphabet that are quite common as double letters like E or L and other letters that just don't really ever appear at all, double X for instance. Um, so you can often use that to help you reduce options as well. So love is not love which alters when it's alteration finds. Or something with the something to something. Well that's got to be removed hasn't it? That's the only word that fits. Okay so which letters have we got left? Um, I mean, B for Benz would make sense. We've used F, we've used M, R, T, V, W. So it must be B for Benz. So that will give us the answer. Love is not love, which alters when it alteration finds or bends with the remover to remove, which is from one of Shakespeare's sonnets, I believe. And that's the correct answer. Okay, so that's how to go about solving a cryptogram puzzle. Hope you found this video useful. I so say that they're hardest at the start. Um, and so it's best to look for two or one letter words, possibly three letter words and try the and and or is in it of, and then just see which letters it puts elsewhere in the puzzle and whether it looks plausible or not. Um, sometimes you might need to put a couple of words in um, before you realize you made a mistake and then and then backtrack. Um, okay, hope you found that video useful. Please do like it and subscribe to our channel uh, for more videos. And as ever, if you have any comments or feedback, then please do just let us know under the video. Thanks for watching.